During World War II, the German military intelligence were keen to recruit their own network of spies and saboteurs, from Welsh nationalists to destroy military and civilian installations to make a German invasion of Britain easier to accomplish. MI5 made up an imaginary cell of Welsh activists led by Gwilym Williams, codenamed GW, and who would act as a double agent working for Britain, fooling the Germans into believing him to be a German spy working on their behalf. Williams was born in Morriston, Swansea in 1887, and he had seen service in the army during World War I as a military policeman. He was a Welsh speaker, and during his time in the army he learned to speak German and French. Leaving the army in 1919, he returned to Swansea to live at 43 Mount Pleasant Hill, Swansea. He joined the Swansea Borough Police and commenced duty as PC92, working in Swansea. An athletic man, he would swim from Swansea Pier to Mumbles Head and back before going on duty. But he also drank too much and assaulted his neighbours, was found by his superintendent drunk and asleep on his couch at his lodgings, was drunk on duty, left his beat and pushed an Italian cafe owner down his cafe stairs, calling him an Italian bastard. He was also commended for stopping a runaway horse in Swansea and later rose to the rank of inspector, working in the police court where he also acted as an interpreter. He left the police after 29 years service in 1939, and this was when he was recruited by MI5 to be a spy. Gwilym Williams' recommendation to work as a spy was from a friend of his, also a spy, codenamed WW, working at the Immigration Service Victoria House, Swansea. From now on, retired police inspector was now a spy code name, GW. He was sent to Belgium to infiltrate German military intelligence. His cover was a Welsh nationalist fanatic and leader of a group of extremists who wanted to sabotage Britain's war effort. Williams convinced the Germans he would work against Britain. Of course he informed MI5 about the plots the Germans were to carry out, which included a German U-boat preparing to land explosives on an isolated cove of Penn Mine on Gower, close to Three Cliffs Bay. German agents based in Spain planning to pour poison into the Cray Reservoir near Brecon. Agents in Britain being given exploding fountain pens, exploding shaving soap and even explosive talcum powder to carry out acts of sabotage. A plan to steal a Spitfire and fly it to Germany. He also told the Germans he had carried out sabotage, which of course never happened. He also welcomed German agents to Britain and then handed them over to MI5 who turned them against Germany. Britain regarded Gwilym Williams as Britain's best agent. Gwilym Williams had the Germans running around in circles and helped Britain win the intelligence battle. What training did he have to enable him to become one of Britain's best spies? If you are faced with awkward questions from the Germans, create thinking time by saying what or I beg your pardon. And to remember the names of prominent members of the Welsh Nationalist Party. Gwilym Williams died in 1949, aged 62.